Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Chaudhary Data World. So today we will be having uh, another set of uh, uh, thing to be covered up that is data source setting. Yesterday means in previous video we saw how to use these new sources, recent sources and interdata. We have covered up this particular chunk that is of new query. Now we are moving ahead with data sources. In data sources, data source setting, it is, the, it is only the option here. So we will be covering this one today. So basically, this particular option is given by Power BI to set your privacy level into your data set. So suppose right now we are having two data sets. That is one demo file 2.csv we have imported and train.csv. So we can set different file permission level on both, both these data sets. So how we can do that thing? We, uh, we will first click over one data source, suppose demo file 2. After that, we will click on edit permissions. So in edit permissions, we are having again three to four options. None uh, shows that there is no pre, uh, permission level or uh, privacy level set over this data set. Public means anybody can see this data set. Uh, and then organizational means that if uh, suppose you are having in uh, this particular data set into some organization, you are belonging to some company. And it is it, that particular data set will be visible to everybody else into your company who will be accessing with that domain name. Suppose uh, abc at rate xyz.com. It's the email with which the Power BI is getting access. Power BI desktop is getting access. So it will be visible to all xyz.com domain named email addresses. That means those people belongs to same organization. So this particular data set will be visible to all of them. And in this private, there is this fourth option that is private. So if we apply private, then uh, this particular data set will be uh, visible to you only, not to uh, anybody else. That means this is for uh, uh, very. Uh, uh, this is for security purpose. If we want to secure our data uh, data set to uh, and limit our data set to a single person, then we can uh, set this private data set. Uh, as for example, if suppose uh, you are having some data set which you uh, you only having access of it, uh, it is of suppose salary data set of some particular organization for which you are building a report. So that data set will be not visible to any other, any other people and how it will be not visible to another. It's not like that, that dashboard uh, in dashboard, if suppose in report, if you are generating in Power BI desktop, so that report will be not visible to anybody, anybody else. It will be visible to anybody else, but they can't hinder with the data set. Uh, better if uh, this thing you will better understand once I will explain uh, what is folding. Uh, folding uh, query folding actually what happens is that whenever any data set is getting fetched from other different location or other different source suppose sql is a data base from where we are importing some data set that means table from sql so that data set is getting imported from there in some query with having some query so that query will not take away any metadata or any data from uh, local power bi desktop to that particular database because that database will be visible to everybody or the people who is not involved in making this uh, report so to uh, uh, secure all the data set which is into inside this power bi desktop will be very much securely uh, into uh, securely existing into power bi desktop only not it will hinder into some other uh, I will explain you in a uh, separate video that what is query folding, how this private data set means uh, making the data set private affects that query folding. Uh, think query folding is a separate topic of uh, uh, performance tuning. I will cover that into some other video. So suppose I am uh, I will I will uh, show you by making because this public and organizational will work for uh, the public will work for uh, means this data set will again be visible to everybody to the um anybody and organizational data uh, organizational if i will set the privacy level it will be visible to organization and this private if suppose i am setting it up because it is only the 
uh, most vote 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 one out. So if I am setting it to private, then it, I'm clicking on OK, uh, and let's see what happens then. I, I have set it for demo file two, and for train, right click, edit permission. From here also we can edit permission, or from here also we can edit permission. So for this, I will make it as public, and if I will close it. With, and all the other other options, uh, I I think it is uh, pretty much clear to you that from here we can change the source. Suppose train.csv we have taken, and if we want to change its source, and right now now train.csv is not kept at this location. If we want to, if that train.csv has been changed to some other location, we can just change it uh, without having altering the uh, query uh, means the table into the uh, Power Query window. So uh, these these are the thing. Uh, after that, this export PBIDS is a uh, a PBIDS is a extension of Power BI data set. So if you will click over it, because this data set is now having um, multiple transformations applied over it. When you go uh, uh, through the uh, through the transformations in this query window, so we we can click on export PBIDS to have that transformed data set into uh, separate format that is dot pbids format uh, i will show you by clicking export pbids so you can see that it is telling that where to save this uh, power bi data set so this is the one and after that edit permission already i explained clear permission if you are having some um, permission supplied over some data sets and you want to clear it at, at a go then definitely you can click over clear permission and everything will be erased off and then this global permission so this global permission is something that will be applied to this whole Power BI desktop report. So this this can be also be set by clicking on edit permission. On edit permission, when it will be clicked, it can be seen that every four options is visible here. So we can go ahead with like that. So for now, we have changed the permissions. For demo file, we have clicked on private, and for train, we have clicked on public. So let's see uh, how it affects into uh, what what else scenario. So uh, let me close it now. Now to demonstrate that how this private and public is affecting what what effect is going on. So suppose demo file three is private. So we have set it private train for train. We have set it as public. So when we want to suppose I have, I, have, uh, I will cover this again this append query thing into some uh, um, into other video in upcoming video I will uh, gradually move to right side then I will uh, cover the, this append query option as well. So for now uh, let me execute this append query as new and uh, let me choose this train thing and then okay. So yes, so here you can see that this append query yes. So we can see that it is uh, successfully appended. Now question comes why? Since it was set as train was set as private and demo file 2 was set as uh, public and this append 1 has been uh, just it is prepared by appending demo file 3 and train train which is uh, private so it should not be actually so because this is this is happening because there is in this csv csv file means any data set which is getting cre created by csv or it is getting created by uh, some other data source like if we have entered it manually by through interdata so there one concept which i right now uh, taken its name that is of query folding so that query folding is not getting applied on excel or csv or manually entering data so here is one table involved both the tables involved which is of one of excel or uh, one one is of csv sorry it is of, one is of csv and another one is of internet so again if we apply train to uh, train with demo file 2 it was this time it was demo file 3 and train and then it was appended now we are taking demo file 2 and train both the tables and then we will append things so let me try append as new and this time we will append with again train 
this demo file too will be appended with frame so what we can see is this time also it it has been successfully created this table has been successfully created now we will see how this uh, now we, uh, we will we will see how the that uh, particular private privacy level affect in some other data source we will this time we will take some other data source like sql server or some other data source any any other data source we can take uh, but as per documentation of microsoft power bi it is telling that for sql server query folding is absolutely available so we can try with on sql server data set so i will quickly open my sql server here i have for demonstration purpose i have created one database that database is named as uh, host database and in that database i have created one table that is tbl sql demo in this data uh, 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 in this table tbl sql demo i have kept a few dummy data and we will try to connect with this sql first and then we will uh, see that how this private making the private to any particular data set affect merging or any operation further so let's see i will jump to power bi now new source sql server i will take out its server name so this is my server name i will put it here database name is optional since we are having only sing, uh, one data set uh, database name so we can proceed further So we are having this first data set here, then the SQL demo. Click off OK. We can see this data set which was there it came to power. View. Now we will try appending this TBL SQL demo and this train. Train is set as private. TBL SQL demo it is right now having none um, privacy level. So what I will try to do is I will click on a paint queries paint query as new. Now I will select train. See, this was due to privacy level. Now what happened here? Let me explain. This TBL SQL demo is some external data source that is sql database right in this particular case so what happens that when query fires fires for, uh, to fetch out data from sql database power bi creates query internally and then take out that query to fetch the data from external data source that is uh, sql database in this case so this whole process covers a concept of query folding as well so whenever query folding goes on it sees uh, it first uh, see that if that particular data set is getting appended or merged with some other data set which is having uh, privacy level as private or organizational it sees for the, its privacy level from for, uh, from which data set it is going to be appended or merged or any further transformation is going on if that particular data privacy level restricts it to merge that or to perform that particular transformation it prompts it like this information is required about data privacy that means if you will click on continue it asks you that if you will ignore privacy level of that train data set then only you can proceed further or else you can't proceed further so let me click on ignore privacy level and then save you will see that here data uh, um, set will be merged Yes, so you can see now that data set is merged because it prompted you that that train data set is set to private if you want to merge it with external data set because it can lead to a case of data leakage to alter environment since this train data set is a private data set and uh, Microsoft Power BI doesn't want that your data should go public or it should go to some other data source where it should not be. So this is the a very beautiful feature of power bi that you can 
manage privacy level over every single data set also this particular option can be accessed from here as well so here it is option and setting and here if you will go to options you can select uh, it is opening just yeah you can select it uh, at the global level which we saw into the previous window as well that to select the global level permission and then current file location permission so if you will go on current file it will ask you to uh, uh, there is two radio button here so you can check on the basis of your requirement so if it you will click on ignore the privacy level so it will improve your performance yeah definitely if you will not set any uh, uh, privacy level on any of the data set it will uh, means it will it will increase your performance as well because it will not check for any of your permissions that if it is uh, private data set or if it is organizational data set or is public data set it, so it, it will not check for those hence it will increase your performance but it will decrease your privacy it will it can lead to data breach so we can check uh, check this as well combine data according to your privacy level setting for each source so if you will check this it will at each time your uh, when you load the data it will ask to uh, set your privacy level so both the option you can explore or you can uh, uh, go through as your requirement as as your uh, uh, reports requirement so you can proceed like that. yeah so that's it uh, that was whole for today and again we will uh, we have now covered these three things after that we have covered this data source settings tomorrow uh, uh, most likely i will be explaining this manage parameters and uh, uh, let's see how uh, we will proceed one by one all the uh, ui buttons whatever we are having into power bi we will uh, one by one cover up all these functionalities whatever uh, available in the power bi so thank you so much for watching the video do like comment and subscribe to the channel thanks again